Today we're checking out Runway ML's text or image to video generator. This is pretty awesome. You can create videos from either text or images or images and text. I don't know why they have description here, it's, it's text. Um, anyway, so let's do all of them. First, let's do text. For a prompt, we're gonna use a barren desert with an approaching snowstorm. There's a few different settings we can change. We can change the seed, which is the random noise that is used to generate the, the video. You can fix the seed between generations, so it's based on the same random noise, so that the videos should be more similar than if you have just random seeds popping in every time. You can smooth out between frames. I check that. Upscale and remove watermark or upgraded accounts. Duration, we get four seconds of video. And we can also include motion, which um, I'm just going to keep it in the middle. And I'm going to click on free preview. We can't. Free preview is temporarily unavailable because apparently there's a lot of demand. But normally what you can do is click on free preview. It generates a bunch of still frames for your video. And you can pick the one that you like the best. And it will generate one that looks like that. When you click on generate, it's kind of like clicking I'm feeling lucky on the Google search, where I hope you're feeling lucky because you get what you get. When I click on generate, the free preview doesn't take credits. So it generates the four still frames. You pick the one you want and you get closer to what you need without using credits. We're using credits right now and it might not be what we want. So we'll see how it turns out in just a second. Video's done, let's give it a play, see how it turned out. pretty good. It looks more like, a, I don't know, a car zooming through the desert more than a sandstorm because the sandstorm was like a wall of sand blowing in, but I think it did a pretty darn good job. Let's see if we can improve this. I'm going to copy that. Let's see if we can improve this by uploading an image for reference and the description. So let's just keep that as a description. You're supposed to say how the scene moves. So let's say the sand wall is blowing towards the camera. And as an image, I've got this image of an actual sandstorm right here. Preview this a little better. So actual sandstorm right there. This is Indiana Jones, if you can't tell. I used him in a previous video using the Runway ML video to video feature where I changed myself into Indiana Jones. It didn't work out that well, but the video to video is still pretty awesome. So if you want to check out that video, it's linked to in the card up above and the description down below. Sandstorm, let's use this one and click on generate because free preview is still unavailable. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, video is done. The first frame definitely looks like the reference image. Let's play this. I asked it to blow towards the camera and it looks more like um, an explosion and then wind blowing the smoke away rather than a sandstorm. But still, it's it's a still image that we just created a video from, which is pretty awesome stuff. Let's see what happens if we do just the image. And I'm not going to use a sandstorm this time. Let's do something else. I created this image of cyberpunk Sylvester Stallone in mid-journey for a different video. Let's just use this one. And now there's really no prompting to do. There's just the, the settings that we have down here. And there aren't even that many settings. So all you can really do is upload your image and then it click generate. Or a free preview if you have that available. I recommend you do free preview if you can. We generate and then it's going to make our image into a video. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Play and... Wow. That's pretty legit. A little bit of motion blur as we zoom out, but I could definitely see generating a sequence of images in mid-journey, all related images, and then patching those together to make a short video. I can definitely see that working. That's pretty legit. If we scroll down, last thing, we can rate the image output to help them improve. So I assume if it's really good, they'll look at it. If it's really bad, they'll look at it for the feedback so they can try to improve it. Uh, but if we, where is it? Go back out, go back to Gen 2, image to video. Now if we scroll down, we can see what other people have done with this. Look how legit that is. This is started as an image or possibly a prompt with an image or just a text prompt. Her hand is pretty crazy. Watch this right there. What, what's happening there? It's pretty normal at the beginning and then it just goes a little crazy. People walking outside of a business. Fish in the ocean. Look at these hobbits. Text prompt. You can click on remix for any one of these that you like. And 
and I gotta say, like this one right here. Like if you were doing a, a commercial for this business and maybe you had a reference image or a bunch of images inside the business and you just took photos and then you use this tool to create video like this, that's awesome. I could actually sit here for hours watching these because it just blows my mind that this is from still images or just text. This lion looks like a dog, like a really hairy dog. Some of these are amazing. Others are, st are still impressive, but maybe not amazing. This one's pretty boring, but it's free to use. The, the credit amounts you get are pretty um, generous for the, um, so each of these videos that we generated a moment ago, each of them was four seconds long and each second costs five credits. And we have something like 450 credits for the free account. You can't buy more, you can't extend it. You can, however, use a different email address and create another account that way for free. Um, but the limits are quite generous. So it's definitely enough for you to pop in here and just try the tools out. Try the ones you think you're gonna use. I've made a video for this one already, so check that out on the channel. And this will be part of a playlist for the Runway ML tools because they are pretty slick. I think it's worthwhile checking all of them out because you just never know where you're gonna find that's gonna help you improve your workflow. Next up, check out these videos right here. The first one is the Runway ML video to video tool. And the second one is actually a playlist of all the Runway ML videos that I have on this channel. So make sure you check those two out. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.